Polish 22-year-old player Hubert Hurkacz upset Kenny Shikori 7-5-5-7-6-2 after 2 hours and 3 minutes at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships to reach the first ATP quarterfinal of his career. Herkes's win was a big surprise especially because Nisha Kori had won 12 of his 14 matches in 2019 and had never lost before the quarterfinals in all the tournaments he played in this year. Herkes had not won a match on the ATP Tour this year. Herkic hit 31 winners to 30 unforced errors compared to Nisha Kori's ratio of 23 winners to 32 unforced errors. Nisha Kori held his first four service games at Love in Brokser for the first time in the match in the ninth game to take a 5-4 lead when Herkic sent a backhand long. Herkic broke straight back in the tenth game after Nisha Kori made a forced error. The Polish player earned another break in the twelfth game to close out the first set 7-5 when Nisha Kori netted a forehand. Nisha Kori went up a double break to build up a 4-0 lead in the second set and served out for the set at 5-2. He did not convert four set points and dropped his serve after a backhand error. Nisha Kori was broken at love, as he was serving for the second set after Herkic hit a forehand cross-court winner. The Japanese player broke serve for the third time in the 11th game, when Herkic sent a forehand long. Nisha Kori hit a smash winner to hold his serve at 15 on his 6th set point setting up a 3rd set. Herkic broke serve in the 4th game at 15 in the 3rd set with a backhand down the line and got another break in the 7th game to build up a 5-2 lead when Nisha Kori was serving to stay in the match. The hole sealed the win in the next game when Nisha Kori sent his forehand beyond the baseline. Herkic secured his spot in the quarterfinal against Stefanos Tsitsipas, who eased past Igor Gerasimov 6-3, 6-1 in just 57 minutes. It's a huge win for me because it's my first top 10 win. Maybe I was better prepared mentally for this battle today. It gives me huge confidence. I was trying to fight for every point. He is an unbelievable player. I had a good serve. That gave me some opportunities to attack after the serve also win a couple of easy points. Against such a player it's important to have some free points. The match was up and down. I am very happy with the win, said Herkic. This year's Rotterdam champion Gail Monfils cruised past 2016 Dubai finalist Marcos Bagdadis 6-3-6-2 after 65 minutes setting up a quarter-final against Richard Esperungus, who beat Dennis Kudla 6-4-6-1. Bagdadis got the first break of the match on his third chance in the fifth game to take a 3-2 lead. Monfils broke straight back in the sixth game to draw level to 3-3. The French player broke again in the 8th game and served out the first set 6-3 at love. He saved a break point in the 4th game before breaking twice in the 5th and 7th game to, to wrap up 6-2. Monfils scored his 7th consecutive win. Monfils has enjoyed a great start to his season winning the final in Rotterdam against Stan Wawrinka and reaching the semi-final in Sofia. Earlier this week the Frenchman beat Morin Cilic. It was windy today. It was not comfortable. I was struggling a little bit to actually hit the ball heavy. It was tougher for me to be aggressive. I went a little bit for the back and tried to shape my ball a little bit more, be patient, push him, focus on the key points with my serve, said Monfils. Nicolas Vasilashvili came back from one set down to beat Roberto Bautista at gut 6-7, 2-7, 6-4, 6-3. Vasilashvili fired 19 aces and converted 4 of his 9 breakpoints. After losing the first set at the tiebreak Vasilashvili went up a break in the third game. Bautista Agut broke back in the 8th game to draw level to 4-4, but Vasilashvili broke again in the 9th game to win the second set 6-4. Bautista Agut saved 3 breakpoints in the first game of the third set but Vasilashvili broke twice in in the 5th and 9th games to close out the 3rd set 6-3. Next-gen player speaks about the negatives of social media. Photo by Chrysline Kayo. 
copyright at Sport Vision for Greek rising star Stefanos Tsitsipas, his breakthrough start to 2019 wasn't without its drawbacks. Last month the 20-year-old became the first player from his country to reach the semi-finals of a major at the Australian Open. Scoring back-to-back -back wins over Roger Federer and Roberto Bautista a gut. The run triggered a media frenzy back in Greece with Tsitsipas conducting numerous interviews. NBA player Giannis Antetokounmpo has described him as the Greek freak of tennis. Whilst there are benefits to his surge in popularity, being in the limelight hasn't been easy for the world number 11. Especially when it came to dealing with social media. According to Social Blade, Tsitsipas has attracted 40,000 more Twitter followers since the start of 2019 to bring his current tally to 82,500. Furthermore, he has 460,000 followers on Instagram and 76,833 Facebook likes. All the attention was not easy to deal with. I can tell you that. People pay attention now. That's why I turned off my social media and my phone completely. I was so tired by all these noise on this social media. The College Times quoted Tsitsipas as saying, Elaborating on his decision to take a break from the world of social media, Tsitsipas believes it has helped him mentally, saying he has become more of an outgoing person since. Following the example sets by players, 30 years ago, I was just sick and tired of all those messages, all those people talking about me. All the notifications I was receiving, like, I felt my brain blocked. I felt like I couldn't process all of that information coming to me, he said. I said that it's enough, I had enough of that. Do it like the old way. Do it like players used to play, 30 years ago, with no phones. I think they were pretty okay, he smiled. Yeah, instead of it I started having nice conversations with my friends who happened to be there, going for some good lunch, dinner with them, discussing about different interesting topics instead of being on my phone. I think I was more social that week than ever, besides becoming out of an extrovert, Tsitsipas believes his tennis has benefited. After the Australian Open, he only managed to win two matches at the two following tournaments. Then at the Open 13 in France, he claimed his second ATP title. I think it has helped me win the tournament, in Marseille. I will keep being out of social media for a while, he explained. Tsitsipas is seated fifth in Dubai this week. He kicked off his campaign on Tuesday with a 6-4, 3-6, 6-3, win over Matthew Ebden. This year's Rotterdam champion Gael Monfils knocked out Marin Cilic 6 3 4 6 6 0 oh, after 1 hour and 45 minutes. Stefanos Tsitsipas beat Matthew Evden 6 4 3 6 6 3. The French star started the match with an immediate break at Deuce when Cilic sent a forehand wide. He held his next service games and sealed the first set with a double break in the ninth game on his second chance when Cilic made another forehand error. Monfils hit 13 winners to just 4 and 4 stairs and won 92% of his first point points in the opening set. Cilic fought back in the second set and saved the break point to hold his serve at deuce before breaking serve in the fifth game at love to take a 3-2 lead. The 2014 US Open champion saved three break points in the tenth game before holding serve at deuce to close out the second set 6-4. Monfils dropped just five points in the third set and broke three times in a row to take a bagel win improving his perfect record in his head-to-head -head matches against Cilic. Monfils has won 10 of his 12 matches played this year including a streak of six consecutive winning matches. He set up a second-round match against Marcos Bagdadis. I think I stepped strong in the match. I have new goals, a new team and a new routine and obviously wins under my belt. Everything is going fine. I am just trying to keep doing what I am doing. Every day a little more to improve. I am trying to reach my goal of returning to the top 10 this year. The first game was key because I knew he is a player who plays with a lot of confidence. It was just a matter of me to step strong in the third set. I had this momentum going on his service game, said Monfils. 
Stefano Tsitsipas followed up his triumph in Marseille with a 6-4-3-6-6-3 win over Matthew Ebden after 1 hour and 34 minutes in his first match in Dubai. Tsitsipas has won 92% of his first serve points. Ebden saved a break point to hold his service game at deuce in the third game. Tsitsipas earned his only break in the fifth game and held his service game at love to close out the first set 6-4. Ebden got his first break in the sixth game to clinch the second set 6-3. After an early trade of breaks in the second and third games Tsitsipas earned his second break in the sixth game at love to wrap up the third set. Tsitsipas will face Igor Gerasimov, who edged Robin Haas 7-6, 7-2, 7-6, 7-5. After winning in Marseille I had to take the flight next day knowing that I am going to have to play the day after. I spent 6 hours on the plane. I arrived at 2 a.m. in the morning, then I had to play the same day. I don't know if my level was because of that, but I was expecting a little bit better today, said Tsitsipas. Bornichorch had to dig deep to beat Yuri Vesely 7-5-3-6-7-6-7-4 after 2 hours and 49 minutes. Kani Shikori started his campaign at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships with a solid 6-4-6-3 win over Frenchman Benoit Paire after 81 minutes. Nishikori converted his first breakpoint chance in the third game to take a 2-1 lead and saved all seven breakpoints before holding serve in the fourth game. The 29-year-old Japanese star went down 0-30 in the 10th game, when he was serving for the first set at 5-4, but he won three consecutive points to earn a set point and sealed the first set on his first chance with a forehand volley into the open court. In the second set Nishikori went up a set and a break in the fifth game to take a 3-2 lead. Per suffered from a problem with his right knee. Nishikori held on his service games and sealed the second set 6-3 with his third break in the ninth game improving his seasonal record to 12-2. Nishikori now leads 6-2 in his head-to-head -head matches against Pear. It's never easy playing against Benoit, of course. He has a great serve and a great backhand. He is a tricky player. In the first set the key was the longest game at 2-1. I was able to get the game. I was more confident. If he broke back, anything could happen. It was a good match. It's never easy with the wind. It's the first time I am playing this tournament, but I think I played good enough tennis tennis, said Nishikori. Nayakori will take on Hubert Herkic, who edged French next-gen Corentin Moudet 6-3-7-5. Richard Esperunkis upset this year's Sofia champion and Rotterdam semi-finalist Benil Medvedev 6-3-6-3 after 87 minutes. The Lithuanian player saved three of the four break points he faced in one 65-second serve return points. Medvedev is the third-seeded player to be knocked out from this tournament after Milos Ronik and Karen Kachanov. I was feeling good today. I am really happy with my game and I was able to execute the whole plan, what I was planning to do before the match, said Barankis. Barankis fought back from one set down to beat Matteo Berrettini 2, 6, 7, 5, 7, 5 after 1 hour and 52 minutes. Qualifier Igor Gerasimov battled past Robin Haas 7 to 6, 7 to 2, 7 to 6, 7 to 5, setting up a second round against either this year year's Marseille champion and Australian Open semi-finalist Stefanos Tsitsipas or Matthew Ebden.